In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual reality infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this human head and I have placed a virtual reality set here, the VR set. And when I click, you can see here, I have added some kind of animation. Uh, this will keep on blinking. And then when I click on the left, it will show you three options. You can add the title, the icon and the detailed text here. And then on the right, it will show with a different color uh, three different options so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the right triangle, draw a right triangle, something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline and rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical. Then right mouse click edit points. You can see the three edit points. So take the select the bottom edit point and then you can see the two small squares. I'm going to take the right uh, square and pull it down a little bit like this you can see here and then the one at the top this also you make it like this all right again if you want something more you can just pull it down further all right so this particular shape I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D move it aside then rotate make it flip horizontal and put it here so we end up getting a shape like this select both the shapes pull it down and then i'm going to add one oval shape at the top go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key and just draw it like this you can see here it should be properly aligned all right and from here also hold the shift key like this okay and make sure that this is properly if not we have to just align it so that it looks perfect you can see here i can hold the shift key and increase the size like this and then shape format shape outline make it no outline and then maybe i need to move it somewhat down and then again align it properly all right so if it is not aligned this is some time consuming job you can hold the alt key and align also you can see here let me just bring it more down and then again i will correct this one i think this is perfect so we got a shape like this i'm going to select all these shapes go to the shape format merge shape and make it union so we end up getting a shape of a human head right the next step i'm going to change the background to black color for that right mouse click go to format background and the color under fill select the black one and this one you can depending on your requirement you can fill any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give some gray color and i'll put it exactly in the center all right then let me just go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangles and make it fully uh, oval shape like this just drag this orange point shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white and put it exactly here as if it is placed on top of the eyes all right so once this is done let me just add the shape of the mouth so go to insert shapes select the basic shapes oval shape sorry and then draw a small oval shape shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black okay and put it exactly in the center and then i'm going to add one nose go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape in the center like this shape outline no outline shape fill black and then send this to back all right and then to give some shadow effect i'm going to select this particular shape ctrl d to duplicate give it a black color and increase the transparency all right you can increase the transparency like that send this to back and put it here like this okay so you can see here the the vr uh, 
headset design is ready now it's time to add some options go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key now depending on your requirement how much size you need of the oval shape you can decide and then hold the control shift key and i'm going to add it towards the right also and then again press ctrl d add one here at the top and again add it the same place here and then hold the control shift key add it at the bottom all right and here also i'm just going to add it the same place okay you can see here let me just yeah if you want we can later on we can uh, align it properly all right then go to insert shapes select the arrow this arrow draw a small arrow like this and make it as a white color for time being and increase the width all right let me just increase the size a little bit and then pull it over here press ctrl d to duplicate add it here maybe we need to move this it little bit here and then press ctrl d and then alt using the right arrow key rotate it and put it here again this also press ctrl d alt and rotate it okay like this and move this one somewhat far and same thing goes here press ctrl d again alt and the right arrow key from the keyboard and put it here move this ctrl d bring it down again alt and the left arrow key and i'm going to move it like this all right so we have got a shape like this now for this three oval shape i'm just selecting by uh, holding the shift key and go to the shape format shape fill i'm going to give maybe uh, this lime color and here i'm going to give kind of a purple color here all right and if you like to give uh, somewhat shadow effect press ctrl d shape outline make sure that there's no outline and then shape fill i'm going to make it maybe a kind of a white and put it at the back okay send this to back so it looks something like this again make sure that there is no outline so i'm just going to remove all the outlines here all right so again press ctrl d to duplicate okay and one more time and then select both this send this to back like this you can just add it this side maybe you can give some different color all right and then i'm just going to select duplicate this one ctrl d and then i'm just sending it to back so it looks something like this so once this is done it's time to add some uh, detailed text along with the icons here so if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert and click on the icons you can choose any random icons so i'm just going to choose uh, six different icons here click insert move this aside give this color as white and the height and width i'm going to give 0.5 and then i'm just going to put one by one here and if it is not visible later on we can change the color to uh, a black color so that it can be visible so let me just put this one here and this if it is not visible i'm just selecting with the whole by holding the shift key and then just make this as a black all right and then you can go insert text box you can add title and detail text okay reduce the font size center align and put it here press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d again for each option i'm just pressing ctrl d and adding here again depending on your requirement you can just change the color and bring it here all right and at the middle go to insert text box you can add your headline center align bold increase the size and that's it
your design is ready and then you can do a small animation like fly in animation to this.